Hello everyone, <coughs> Tommy Station here. Um, I've been tinkering this weekend. Um, I've changed the, the motor in my uh, combo Hymec. It's with a, a Lima chassis and a Hornby body. It now has a CD motor. Um, it's starting to get a bit noisy, so I changed that. So we'll set that one off. As smoothly as I can. Big difference to it. And if you look, I've got one of my flashing lights in the back of the uh, cargo van there, luggage van. Yeah, so that's uh, that's running very nicely. Much quieter. It was perfect when I first ran it, and then I've been running it now off and on, and I noticed it started to get a bit noisy, so I thought, right, okay, time to change it. Now then, I bought four Roco, um, what do they call it now, um, gondola mineral wagons. They're all with the same number, 47216, oh that's the Roco part number anyway. So what I'll do, I'll just show you these going past. This is my Roco BR215 Roco. Now then, the first wagon is a Pico. The second is a Pico. The next one is a Fleischmann. Now we'll see the four new Roco gondola wagons. What I would describe as brand new second hand. Again sold as used but when I took them out of the boxes they still they didn't even have the couplings attached. So all the couplings were in one box, which was great. The um, <coughs> cargo van at the back, that's a Lima. And it's also pulling my track cleaning wagon. And I noticed the track getting a bit tight today. So kill two birds with one stone. Pick the speed up a bit. So there's, whoop, zipping around. There's the Heimet coming into the station. Much smoother and quieter. There we go, nice crawl. Very, very nice. So stop that there. And also, I service my Pico BR218. Um, that was starting to uh, run a bit dry because I haven't. Uh, maintained it for a long time and also put a flashing light in the brake cleaner why not go flashing like crazy so if we go it's nice and solid again these require very very little maintenance um, like I say I haven't touched this for a long long time so I just took the body off checked it over Gave the motor bearings just a tiny drop of oil and that cured it. I don't know how many kilometres this one's done. Bought used at a railway model railway exhibition in Germany, been running for weeks I think. So here we come, here's my mineral wagons. I've got my eye on uh, a rake of Roco wagons. Um, if I can get them at the right price, I will be very, very happy. It's an amazing uh, rake. I'll just have to wait and see and save up my pennies. Something else I want to show while I'm. Whoops. There goes the track cleaner. I normally do my tracks, believe it or not, every every week, every Saturday. Um, it just helps to keep the keep them everything running nice and smoothly. Now then, the question of using rods to control points came up. 
and what I what I did a long time ago, I ran out of servos, and what I did, I don't know if you can see this, I'll just point there. That's a 1.5 millimeter gas welding rod, gas welding wire rod. Yeah, um, <coughs> it's it's copper coated. Um, and it's it's obviously um, a mild steel. It's perfect for uh, this type of thing. And what I do, I'll have to stop this local, otherwise the other train will set off. If you look at the points there, I push it, I pull it, I push it. Okay. So I <coughs> I did actually buy a servo, but then just too bone idle to uh, install it. So I use this wire. So this is not to be confused with arc welding rod, arc welding rods. This is gas welding rods, which gas welding is basically going out of fashion now because it's almost all MIG. Uh, MIG wire is far too thin to do this. You can still buy gas welding rods um, on eBay, and if you have a an old a garage, an old garage nearby, you might find that one of the mechanics has a gas welding rod hanging around. Um, I've also used them over there so we'll see that one ah now the local goes over it won't it right so so there we have one operating there there's another one there you can see the shed it's enclosed in in a, in a shed and then zooming around There's another one there, and you can just see the wire disappearing under the bridge over onto the points there. So again, um, it, it's, it's ideal. Um, I've actually spoken to my nephew. Uh, he's going to make a, quite a complicated uh, shunting yard, and uh, I suggested him to, to do that, and he has he actually bought um, uh, some gas welding rods, and uh, he said it's working very well at the moment. So hopefully one day we'll see his uh, layout working. So there we go, let's set this one off again. I'm digressing, there we go. This loco is a Roco hobby. So if you notice the windows are a sort of grey they're not see-through so that's um, I'm gonna change that like my Pico locos the one that's coming around with the uh, track cleaner wagon that's a, a part the Pico hobby range let's have a look here we go it's coming there and as you see you can see through there's a driver seating I love this look quite as a nose so here we go. If you look, you'll see the windows are blanked off, basically. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to fit clear windows in. And try and get a seat in there as well in the driver. Very happy with the uh, gondola wagons. Like I say, um, I bought a job lot of four. Um, brand new second hand, uh, from what I can see, never used, so sold the bits for that. 2024 is looking good so far with all the presents I got for Christmas, and now these four wagons, and a possibility of another 11, I think it is. So we'll have to fingers crossed on that. This uh, Lima van also has lighting at the back. So let's set the high mech off again. There's a lot to be said for the CD motors. Um, I've installed quite a few now. And basically they're maintenance free. Um, when I looked at my um, ring field motor today, 
Oh, yesterday, sorry. Um, uh, the commentator was had patches of like, sort of black, and it, it, it looked to me like it was surface wasn't flat. So again, if there's any drop of oil gets on that plate, it'll affect the performance greatly. So um, filling CV motors, especially uh, these are all 12 volt that I fit now, uh, they're perfect. So here it comes. It's now called a Lemec because it has a Lima chassis. I bought a, um, a Heimec a Hornby body uh, very very cheap and I had what I consider a spare Lima chassis and it was a perfect fit, absolutely perfect. There we go. Nice and quiet. And catch it coming through the tunnel. Super. What a difference. And I can see one of my flashing lamp installations in the rear of the, of the luggage van. Okay, so there we go. Thank you for watching. Bye now.